Hey, good morning, everybody. Today is June 6th. It's 5.33 p.m. Came in this morning, and the internet is not working. So we have been adjusting uh, strategy today. We had to print labels kind of manually. The pick sheet didn't come up on the iPad, so we had to, we're going off a little iPhone. Uh, Steve and I are both moderately frustrated, called in the support uh, to the uh, service provider and they're telling us there is a, a local outage. So we're definitely uh, going to be slow today. Um, not too many changes over the weekend since the, the vlog uh, just posted uh, yesterday that you probably, uh, well, if you haven't had a chance to see it, I suggest you go out there and take a look at it. Um, so, and I've got some staff that's not feeling well today. We have a new person starting today. That'll be exciting. Um, but with no internet, we're really going to be struggling because I mean, like, like almost, I would say about 75% of the things that we do here kind of depend on a reliable internet connection. I'm a little draggy today as well. Um, yeah, so really no other updates today. Um, so if I do come up with anything to update you on uh, as I go throughout the morning here, I'm going to probably just do a couple cleanup things. But if I do come up with anything, I will uh, get that on here. All right. Today is Wednesday. I didn't get into a vlog in yesterday. I didn't come in yesterday. It is 4.33 in the morning, Wednesday, June 8th. And today I'm specifically going to look at two things. I'm going to look at my pick sheet. And then I'm also going to show you how I do numbering on the drawers and kind of how we do our shelving. So without further ado, let's get into those two things. I am over here. All right, so there's, I'm, there's probably gonna be two pick sheets today. My pick sheet that's been assigned to me is gonna be 134 lots. And then everything else for uh, today that needs to be picked will probably be about 419 lots. I don't know if that'll end up on one pick sheet or not. That's going, I'm going to be putting on my roller skates, but before I do that, I'm going to show you guys the shelving. Uh, those 400, no, rather those, that pick sheet for me, that 134 lots is going to actually be in two orders. The team usually likes to give me uh, the larger orders, and I believe there's just two of them. Yeah, there's just two orders in there. So, uh, yeah, I had a request. Somebody asked specifically about how we do the numbering our shelves and a comment about the shelving itself as well. So let's take a look at those two things. Okay, so here's what we're, we've got. So uh, to review for most of you that have been regulars, this is row number one. And you go down to the bottom, back of that and you come around that side and then you'll come, you come back this way down row number two. You turn the corner here and then you end up down row number three. You turn the corner at the far end down there, and then you come back this way for row number four, and that's the last row of actual inventory parts. This first row uh, starts off with 00001, and then the bottom of that one is 133, 0133. Then you jump from this column and you go to the other side and you start off at 134, okay? So that's gonna be 134, and then the bottom of that one is gonna be 225, then the top of this one will be 226, and so on and so forth. So when, when you pick the new row here, you're gonna go from there to there to here, and then you're gonna go back and forth that way until you get down the whole row. So when you go down this row, you're only gonna go down the row a single time. And that is true of the entire store, uh, except for row number four, um, the category X for large parts is a little bit different than that. And then uh, I've had a few other people say, how are these shelving attached? So these, these shelves are a, a Sam's Club purchase and they are tandemly connected. So um, this is a shelving unit. Here's a shelving unit and you can see that you can see that they're connected both ways, okay? So we were able to save on the number of poles that we use, and we're able to get one, two, three, four uh, rows or four columns in one row, and then down there, there's two columns in that row. But 
it, it saved us about 25 to 30 percent on the number of shelving units that we needed because we, we got six. There's one, two, three shelves. We got six on each one and we were able to double up. So double the poles on that. Uh, there's a, I'm sure there's some math algorithm uh, or some math that can be applied to really kind of figure it out. We're able to adjust to different sizes of, of units. Okay, so on this side of this unit, you've got one, two, three rows, but then you go to the other side of that same unit, that's column number three, you've only got two of the standard acro mills. And then on the back side of that one, you've got three and you've got two of the standard acro mills on this side. So there, it was a lot of flexibility in the, in the way we did it. So there's, you know, different changes in units there, but it all worked. The, the numbering and the sequencing all works. Uh, we actually still have some empties up here that we haven't quite figured out. Um, we can get it numbered. Um, we got these. Um, um, why did we put those like that? I forget why we did that. I guess we just had the extra tall ones. So we just kind of threw them in there. And then right here. You can see we were able to utilize those and that row there. So you get a little bit taller rows down here and even up in over here, we've got the, the extra ones. So normally we do three, but then the short ones ended up on top over here. So in some places we actually put a board down the middle and the board is attached uh, just via a screw. And um, some places there's a board and uh, that's the way those were done. But then other places, uh, these units are just basically screwed into each other. There's like a screw here and there's probably a screw here and screw down here. And then this tape doesn't really do very much, but it held together while we were assembling it. So it's not, it's not really overly fancy. It's just kind of screwed into the unit in the back and you pull out a drawer, you screw it into the, pull out these drawers and screw it into the back of the other one. There's one drawer that doesn't close all the way because of a screw so drawer number 4970 you can't you can't push it in all the way because behind that drawer there is a screw back in there that comes all the way out uh, these units here uh, we have to put wedges in here in order to in order to cross that lip that threshold uh, it looks like here we use old lego parts there's another wedge right there. There's a wedge there. So these wedges are installed here in order to lift this up. There's pressure on that from things that are on top of it. And there's enough of a gap right there that allows us to actually just kind of get that drawer out and get it back in as necessary. Good morning, everybody. Today is Thursday, June 9th, 5.07 a.m. Got a couple things that happened overnight. Uh, I'm not sure where to start. Uh, I did receive a drop off yesterday. Somebody dropped off this box of sorted bags. Um, the file is called squid. They're lettered by, um, or they're numbered, they're identified by letter. And I will take care of that and process that. I am dropping off, today I'm dropping off two containers that uh, I've been able to complete. Uh, if you've been paying attention, this table here was empty very recently and somebody dropped that off and that's uh, the plate project and uh, continuing. And so that's been processed. Um, there are a number of files that got processed last night. So, so there was a crew here last night. Let me show you what they so did. So the way we organize our files there are not processed files, which there's nothing in not processed right now. And what that means is um, a file has been created of uh, drawers and parts. Those have all been moved to here. So those not processed files have been moved into verified and put away in cabinets. Now it's my job to go into the system and add these to uh, BrickLink. Um, these are the individuals that have uh, completed the cataloging work on site. Um, and then, so each one of these represents, you know, something out there in the floor, um, putting away the last drop off of all of these plates is, is out there. And, and which is interesting about the plates, just maybe two months ago, this entire row here was completely empty. 
and it looks like yeah yeah it looks like they've made it down to this column here oh my all of these just yesterday had nothing in them and there are there are a ton of yeah there are a lot of large brick in there there is a lot of large brick in there that is completely filled that's just amazing that they got done so quickly so this x row here of this large parts is nearly completely full and it only took less than a month but i say a month though you're only talking about maybe six hours a week um so it really didn't take all that much time at all we don't really i don't work nobody works here that much so this drop off here I can see, I have to get this paid for. So people drop off and they get paid by the way. And I see a note here. Yeah. Okay, so I gotta get this paid. And I gotta print off an invoice for squid that I've gotta get paid. Uh, I picked up peanut butter because I'm sitting a trap at home. And uh, do a live trap for a ground squirrel. I got a ground squirrel. I think I have a ground squirrel near the house. Uh, there's other things I was going to work on today. Yeah. I mean, things are really coming along here. So that means if they, if they did that, then they probably, oh yeah. So they did, they did, but they pulled windows. So, wow. Holy moly. So let's, let's take, take a look at this. So the, the project of all those brick, now it's turned into a windows project, windows and doors. So they're, they're starting to pull windows and doors. And they are really, that is not a Lego. I remember playing with those little army men when I was a kid, I remember that. So yeah, they, they have started on this. They do both, and yeah, not that one so much. Okay, so they're starting to break down windows and doors into, into here, and I bet you those get cataloged, and probably the same amount of time it took all that brick, which is gonna be about a month. And Oh look, oh look, so they did. They were clearing off this. They said they wanted to clear this off, so they got some empty stuff for the plate project in here. Yeah, they are, they are really making this place their own here, and I appreciate that. Lots of, okay, so they also emptied over here, uh, moved stuff over here. I think they said they had another plan for this, this one over Good here. Good morning again. Today is June 11th, 4.19 a.m. Some things have changed. Uh, I, took, I missed a day yesterday. I took a day off and let's see what's going on here so we've look looks like we've got uh, empty drawers here and here and there and there um i think from the last one that i recorded there was a pile of um, plates and those plates look like they pretty much have been processed they've been put into those drawers up there um, somebody bought some garage sale lego uh, looks like the sets are put together. They're kind of dusty. They need to be cleaned up a little bit. Uh, Lord of the Rings set, some couple bionicles, some space, and other random Legos that was $3. Looks like it's a pretty good deal. It'll process pretty quickly here. I don't know how much it was spent on it overall. Uh, got some bubble mailers. Let's show you the bubble mailers here. This is, right here is the bubble mailers that we received. 15 boxes of bubble mailers. We bought, I bought those bubble mailers on eBay a while back, and this is what's inside the packages right there. This one right here. And uh, typically your normal, this is a four by eight bubble mailer, and typically four by eight goes four this wide and then four all the way, including the flap. But this particular company, they go four by eight from here all the way to the uh, end of it here. So you get actually four point, four by eight of actual usable storage. I contacted them via messenger through, um, I don't know, I, somehow I found them a phone number, email address or something like that. Somehow I got a hold of them because of the relationship I had with them on eBay and said, hey, I'd like to develop a direct relationship. And they actually were pretty cool with that. And uh, yeah. And then they sent me additional 36 rolls of tape, which you know is really inexpensive. That's like tape for a lifetime. I mean, it's a lot of tape. That's a lot of tape. And then, as you can see behind me here, there is a another organization going on here of a lot of stuff. But right now, my pursuit is, uh, let's see, coffee. I think I'm going to have coffee today. Uh, I brought in, let me show you one more thing. 
So I did bring in just a few pieces, but uh, there's, I don't know if it's gonna be on top of here or not. Maybe when I get into putting these away, but I'm gonna put away some parts today. I have uh, a small uh, tub here of just drawers and they're gonna go directly into the store and then be added. Um, right, I don't have, I, nothing else. It's, it's been a pretty slow month. The month has been pretty excessively slow. I mean, like, almost like scary slow. Yeah, I ordered a part for this one. I don't know about that one. I got, looks like there's another one here missing a part. Those should be coming in soon. We've had uh, some individuals that have been ill this month. We got people going on vacation this month. I can't really think of anything else to, to do. So uh, I will come back and give more updates as I process through my morning here. So let's just get to it. Hey, everybody. All right, so this is going to be the last uh, outro on the vlog. Uh, I recorded it once and it totally didn't record. So for me, this is doing it over again. But for you, it's uh, whatever. The, this is Saturday uh, at 2.17 p.m. And what I've been working on earlier today is making all these empties over here, empties in this, this is almost an entire cabinet of empties. Um, been using this cart right here to do it with the finger scanner. Um, Brandon is the boss. He's here picking. Uh, nobody else worked this week, or no, today. Nobody else worked today because it was slow and people wanted the day off and nobody really came in. Here's additional empties. Um, well, that was from that empty cabinet over there. You got all types of them up there. It was a really good Saturday. Um, did some grocery shopping with the family today. So I come in, I work here uh, early, uh, as you saw in the vlog, and then I leave, and then I typically come back on Saturday to just kind of wrap up the week and see how things are going. And it's been a really good week, and nothing else has much changed around the store. So. Um, yeah, so this is it for this week's vlog. Uh, if you do enjoy these vlogs, I would appreciate it if you would uh, like it and subscribe to the channel. Uh, give me some feedback on what you're uh, looking for in these. Uh, take out, check out the other content on the channel. We've been doing every Friday night, we're gonna be doing a live on AI, the big, AI, uh, big robot AI, the Lego sorting machine. Um, we have a lot of good progress on that. We have two videos out there. We'll be doing that for another nine weeks. Uh, of live updates um, on Fridays. So that'll be coming up too. So yeah, this has been Chris at the Great Brick Lab and uh, check you out in the next vlog.